Go ahead and start it. Hey everyone, this is Jay Todd coming to you from fabulous Las Vegas, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello, my friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling's Better Late Than Never edition. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from our secret location somewhere in Sherwood Forest. No, not really. I, I got to apologize. I, I'm, I'm late getting back from the iGaming Super Show in Dublin, Ireland, and I'm behind schedule, so that's why the show is late. Let's just say that I'm late because of uh, uh, mechanical issues. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go with that one. Mm. The reality of the situation is that I, I shot so much quality material that I simply have not had an opportunity to download it all to my PC and process it for the show. So uh, I figured I would simply come out here and talk to you lovely people about what's going on this week in gambling. I know, crazy thought, right? First of all, from the no files comes a story carried on MSNBC noting that social gaming and gambling are converging in an online market. Well, no shit. Is this really any surprise? I mean, most forms of gambling are social interaction with other people and a lot of social games online such as Zynga Poker and Slingo have their roots in casino style games. Also, we've spoken a lot on this program about the potential of legal online gambling in the state of New Jersey. Now here's a new twist to the story, as it looks as if the governor of the state is considering allowing full-blown sports betting. This is actually quite a significant story, as the federal government has some laws in place which could throw a wrench into the governor's plans. In particular, PASPA, or the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act. Yeah. If slash when this happens, it could result in an all-out legal war between the state of New Jersey and the federal government, which would be great news for me because, I mean, that's months worth of material and job security. Okay, now uh, before the break, I wanted to share an email I got with you from a loyal viewer out there, one of three who actually watch the show on a regular basis. It says, uh, <clears throat> Dear J. Todd, every week you come out and do an outstanding job. Well, thank you very much. And all we ever see is your smiling, beautiful face in front of the camera. But... Are there others? Is there a whole team behind This Week in Gambling? That is an excellent question, and uh, this person is obviously extremely intelligent. So uh, let's take a quick look behind the scenes here at the program. Uh, first, th there's the footage, here we go. Uh, before I come out every week, there is a, an entire scripting process that goes through uh, rigorous revisions and uh, proofreading to make sure that I don't come out here and just, you know, look silly. And then, of course, behind the camera, we have uh, our 15-year veteran Bobo, who uh, is, is an expert at, at this sort of thing and making me look as pretty as I do. And, of course, it all comes together with the assistance of Chim Chim, our director. So, uh, yeah, there you go. You have, uh, you have the three monkeys behind the camera and the one monkey in front of the camera. We'll be right back. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel and get our latest videos as soon as they're published. Visit youtube.com slash thisweekingambling. A new era of online poker. AmericasCardroom.net. Play poker for free. All players welcome at AmericasCardroom.net. Play in ring games, tournaments, knockout tournaments, double or nothing sit and goes, and more. And more. AmericasCardroom.net. Join the next big thing. Stuff. Oh, hello. Before we get into the second half of the program, I wanted to welcome a brand new sponsor to This Week in Gambling, the online edition of WorldCasinoDirectory.com. I can honestly tell you that I've known the owner of this site for several years and he's a good guy. You'll be hard pressed to find a better site for online gaming information or just to play a few free games. So take a moment of your time to check out online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Okay, last week there was a gaming conference where industry leaders got together to discuss the potential future of online gambling in the United States. The general consensus is that if anything is going to happen for web-based gaming, it is going to have to occur on a state-by-state, -state, individual basis because the feds have their heads too far up their butts to agree on anything, let alone web-based gambling. I'm paraphrasing, of course. The bottom line is that unless you're a player who lives in a state like Nevada, California, New Jersey, Iowa, or Delaware, I just don't think 2012 is going to be your year for legal online poker. And even if you do live in one of those states and are fortunate enough to get some form of online gambling this year, the games are going to be kind of small, you know, because they can't cross state lines. You're going to be drawing from a very limited pool of players in most situations. I don't want to come out here and bum you out, but I don't want to lie to you either. I want to keep our expectations realistic, you know, kind of hoping. And then if something great and surprising happens, cool. And if not, we expected it anyway. Okay, finally, if you've been watching our show for any length of time, certainly you've realized that street performers in Las Vegas are a big part of this show and its entertainment value. However, as we've noted, there are certain powers that be within the state of Nevada and Las Vegas who would outlaw or ban street performers altogether. Now, now I get licensing them, maybe doing a background check, but banning them altogether? What's the point? So, in the closing of this program, I thought you might want to meet the street performer that we featured at the beginning of the show, the Silver Man of Fremont Street. Hey everyone, thanks for watching This Week in Gambling. Before we go, I wanted to introduce you to, uh, what's your name, sir? Harold Lee. Harold Lee. Harold, you've been telling me some interesting stuff. You're one of the, the, the staples out here on Fremont Street. People come to Vegas, they want to see you. you. You're the most televised silver man in the world? In the world. In the world. Not it's Vegas, not the United States, but the world. The world. You know, you don't get enough credit, man. Last year, I was on 4,000 satellite channels all over the world. And now here you are on This Week in Gambling. Absolutely. Not gambling because they won't let me in the casinos. Well, you know. I, I, they're probably intimidated. Well, no, they're worried about somebody robbing them. <laughs> that's where you get all the silver. Uh, that's, well, this is Silver State. Why not? Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you on, sir. Absolutely. Now you can add us to your resume. Well, I've got more than a resume than you can ever imagine.
Those aren't grass stains.